A sellout crowd is on hand at Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake. It's a showdown between unbeaten and 22nd ranked Boise State and the Utes of Utah. West Conference overall, so Utah would like to end that today. The left foot of Montgomery's ready, and we're underway. It's going to be Castillo drifting over at the one yard line. He'll bring it up to the 10, to the 15. Sidesteps a guy there, and he's going to be drilled at the 16 yard line. Ratliff is back at the 25. Oh, the middle, it's intercepted. That's Hall. The guy we talked about, Corey Hall, and he's going to be dropped at the 21 yard line. The preseason whack defensive player of the year makes a huge play early in this ball game, and Hall with his second interception of the season. Out of the hole of Stringer, the kick is up. The left-footed boot has a lot of height. It's got the distance, and the Broncos strike first after the interception by Corey Hall. Zabransky is the quarterback. Hutman is one of the tight ends in motion. Back to throw Zabransky from the goal line. Ball up. Ram is there. Battle for it. He made the catch. Bryce McCain defending on the play, and Gerard Rabb somehow fought for the ball, came down with it. That's a 40-yard completion on the play. Hit for the year, a 40-yard gain to the 40-yard line. Rabb, a big six-foot-two guy, went up and came down with it. Zabransky on the play-action fake. Up the field, and that's intercepted. Picked up. Beautiful play by the guy who was a national defensive player of the week for his play a week ago, Eric Weddle. That's his fourth interception of the season. Coaches told us he could be the he's the best corner on the team. He could be the best safety on our team. Teams now have turned the ball over. Rattler on the option. Wants to pitch it back. Flag on the play to the 40. Open field. He's to the 25. The 20. This may come back. We may have had a man in motion or what? We'll wait and see. Anyway, the penalty flag is thrown as Ratliff got the open lane and he just took off. Ball for the Utes. This is for the tie here in the first quarter. The kick has a lot of distance and it's good. And so we're dead even at three with 6.08 to go. They're 0 of 1 on third down. Jabranski is back. He is able to convert. Dryson James with a catch. And he brings it out to the 39-yard line. Shine defending on the play. And Dryson James, their deep threat there. Johnson has come back into the uh, running back spot. In motion. Hand off to Johnson to the 50. Johnson burns his way to the 40. The first guy just doesn't get a clean shot at him, and that's what he's so good at, and he just picked up a first down. Steve. One of those big tight ends that they use in their power offense. Hand off to Peretta. He's to the 20. Spins his way to the 15-yard line, and that'll be another first down. Boy, nice changeup. They go from Johnson to Peretta in the backfield. Lau is back there with it. Here's the pass, and Lau coming out of the backfield. Tackled. Did he get in? They're going to give him the touchdown. Lau with the touchdown grab. And he doesn't figure a lot in the offense. That's his first catch of the year. He'd only rushed the ball one time this year. Well, they ran the same path the running lane. And Zabranski comes out throwing. And it's going to be caught by Nani. Legado Nani makes the grab. Weddle was there. Nani, who is so athletic, an ex-quarterback. Boise State has really done a nice job of keeping them from being a factor early in this game. First down. And here is a keeper now by Zabransky. He's very fast. We talked about that earlier. Fake field goal and a touchdown. Tight end will come in motion. Johnson, the running back. He's got the ball to the 15. Pushed to the 10. Fights his way down to the 5. Look at this effort. All the way to the 3. Fumble. The ball came out. Does Utah have it? They're piled up inside the 5-yard line. This will be a huge turnover, and it is. Utah has recovered. Left to go in this first half of play. Rab comes in motion, and now Zabransky on a roll out to the far side. Nani comes up with a catch, and coming up four yards to go. This is Pareto on the quick pitch. He's going to throw it back to Zabransky. Zabransky has a man wide open down the field, then throws it shorter to Schumann, his tight end. Derek Schumann is going to be knocked out of bounds. He had Nani wide open, but they elected to go shorter to Schumann. Schumann makes a grab. You can hear shoe, shoe in the background. It's first and goal for Boise State. 6'2", a 210-pounder. He hands off to Peretta. Peretta to the five, fighting for the goal line. And let's see, is there a signal? It's a touchdown.
You can see why the coaches were talking about Peretta. We had talked so much about Johnson. They said, we're going to play Benny Peretta because he is a playmaker. Third and 19. Ratliff from the goal line. He needs something, and he's going to have to get rid of the ball. He throws the interception. Colt Brooks picks it off. There's a flag on the play. As Colt Brooks waited, Ratliff was being taken down. He released the ball, and Brooks strolled in. Let's see if this stands, if the penalty flag will change it. Holding 69 offense. Decline. Wow. That is a touchdown. Well, we talk about making the right decision. We're on third down. Third down coming up, four yards to go. I think they're in a swamp right they now. They are in a swamp, but they got to remember they set out to win this thing. Oh, the pitch behind Poston. He gets on it. Rattler trying to option to Poston on a third down. It'll bring up a fourth down now for Utah. Tech. Ian Johnson in the backfield with uh, Lau, who caught that touchdown pass. Here's Johnson. He had 58 yards in the first half. Breaks tackles. He's got a first down. That uh, with those tight ends moving to the top of the field. Here's Zabransky rolling out, completes it to Schumann, the tight end. Schumann fighting for the first down, may be just short. Schumann had a big catch in the first half. Johnson, the single running back. Nani will go in motion. Here is Zabransky, a little action in his face. Throws up the field, and the catch is made by Putnam. The tight end on a third down and less than a yard. They fake it up the middle, and Putnam with his fourth catch of the season. Snap is good. The kick is on the way, and he got into that one. He hammers it right through the middle. And it's now 26-3 in favor of Boise State. So they add three points to their lead. Sure, because of a knee. We'll get more on that later. And now they've got Grady in there. Here's Liddy trying to go wide, and uh, Liddy's not even going to get to the line of scrimmage. Scandrick is over. Scandrick. See, a total offense, and I'll finish it in just a minute. He is uh, the guy they hope we can lead him next year. Is Liddy able to get to the 29? Go ahead, RG, continue. What? Five minutes, three minutes to go here in this third quarter. Grady is back and rifles one to the other guys and is picked up by Corey Hall. A second interception to the 20, to the 15, 10, 5, fumbles the ball. But I believe Boise State has recovered. So the second pick of the game for Corey Hall, who had one back in the first quarter. He took off for the goal line. The ball stripped. And Boise State's got it first and goal inside the five as they're able to save the football. Just trying to get too much instead of what he needed. Again, Zabransky's a 203-pounder. And he's going to try it again. Backs his way in this time. And touchdown for Boise State. So Boise State now takes a 32-3 lead. And I'm telling you, this is a stunning, stunning thing that's happening here in Salt Lake City. I mean, give Boise State all the credit in the world. I mean, they have come in here ranked 22nd in the country, unbeaten. A football team that has uh, made a, a huge impression on everyone. Yeah, I. you know what? Across the board, now you take a look, watch what happens. Offensive line gets in there. He follows the big old rump of his left guard, gets it in. He, uh, Boise State has been able to do that. Second down now as uh, rolling out will be Ratliff again. He's going to throw up the field, and that is picked off. Another interception, and this is Alexander. Gerald Alexander has really shown up in this game with his intensity, his hitting, and now an interception. That is four interceptions in this game. And this, again, really not a good decision. When you're rolling out, you have to understand you have underneath and... Is that a rhetorical question? Here's Jumanski <laughs> throwing up the field, completes it to Schumann, who's had a big game, and he takes it to the 15 for a first down. Now, now inside the 15, they score here. You'd think they'd make a change. Here's Johnson again, and Ian Johnson inside the five, just moves a pile. He's got a first and goal down to the three-yard line. This offensive line and this running back have absolutely reached him and just ripped the hearts out of the Utah defensive line and linebacking core. There he goes. Stringer to hold, and uh, it works for him, doesn't it? He just hit another field goal. 36 to three, 10 and a half minutes left to go in this game. So Montgomery having a big day. They said they have found themselves way behind early in this game after being tied 3-3 in the first quarter. They trail at halftime, 23 to three. Here's a pass and it's intercepted. And it's that guy again, Weddle, his second interception of the game. Now, fourth down and five. 
And the ball is broken up. He, I think that'll be incomplete. His arm is going forward incomplete. And so Boise State will take over on downs. That's just kind of a, a I guess, the finishing touches on what has been such a, a disappointing day for Utah. Milkus along with uh, Chris Lincoln. Now we have uh, a new quarterback coming into the ball game. It's going to be Bush Hamden, number three. And Hampton getting some time here with uh, 27 seconds. Well, he may not get any time as they, they back up now. And well, they got to kneel down once. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hey, believe it or not, I know a guy that broke his ankle in a kneel down one time. I don't want to hear it. Oh, it's horrible. Things can happen. Anyway, it's been, uh, it's been a, a, obviously a big surprise. A stunning game here today as Utah came in, homecoming day, trying to win their fourth game in a row. Instead, they get beat 36 to 3. Thank you as uh, this Boise State team now goes to 5 and 0. Oh. Glenn, your final thoughts on the game? Great balance offensively and defensively for Boise State. And unfortunately, just not enough of anything for Utah. So join us on Thursday as 15th ranked TCU travels to Utah to take on the Utes for our next Mountain West telecast. Coming up next, Soul of a Champion. Thank you for joining us here in Salt Lake City. For R.G. Sophopoulos and Glenn Parker, I'm Gary Bender. So long from Salt Lake.